what happens in this scenario in, in, in Peter Schiff's world if we have, let's say, used car prices on average go from $100 to $140 this year. That's 40% inflation. But the next year, they go down to 131% or something like that, 100 or $132, whatever. And all of a sudden, we're looking at, wait a minute, we just had 2% or 3%, 4% deflation in car prices. We're still way higher than where we were you know, comparing to 2020. But all of a sudden, in 2022, we had deflation compared to 2021. Is that possible? What happens in a scenario like that? Does, does the Fed just keep cranking the money printer? Well, I mean, th that's what they're hoping for, right? That some of these big price increases uh, turn down. But look, even mm -hmm. if we get a slowdown in the rate of appreciation of used cars, which we probably will, I think they're still going to get more expensive. They're not necessarily mm -hmm. going to get cheaper. They just won't get more expensive as the same rate. But remember, there are a lot of other products that are going to pick up the slack, especially housing. I mean, again, think about housing, how much housing prices and rents are actually going up. And none of that is in the CPI yet. Wait until mm -hmm. that stuff comes into the CPI. I mean, yeah. I mean that's going to dwarf what's going on with, with, with car prices, used car prices. But the new car prices, they're going up a lot too. Especially too. I mean, I, I mean, if the used car prices are going up, that means car prices. I mean, used, new, price, new car prices are going to go up too, a lot. I mean, the, the reason that used car prices are going up is because there, there aren't enough new cars to buy. So new car prices are going up too, but a lot of times too, I'm not really sure how much the new car prices are actually captured in the CPI because the new car prices, you know, they come out with a price, a sticker price, mm -hmm. and normally people get to buy them well below sticker. But let's say now no one's buying below sticker. Maybe people are forced to pay the sticker. According to the government, well, the price hasn't gone up because the sticker prices are the same. But if people were buying, you know, 5% below sticker, and now they're paying sticker. That's a 5% increase that's that's not captured in the CPI. Okay, so so you're saying they're measuring CPI not off what people are actually paying versus uh, what they are paying now, but maybe off I think it's MSRPs. based on, again, I don't know for sure. I'm just guessing at what they would do is they just, because they would look at the, the manufactured suggested price and compare right. it to the suggested price from before. I don't know that they're actually getting down in the weeds and seeing, mm. hey, what was the actual sale price of these that's cars. And yeah, you know, the, the CPI is always rigged too. I mean, they always come and say, oh, the, the cars are better because they don't pollute as much. Yeah, well, who cares yeah. about that? I mean, most people buy and they go, well, I'm, it's okay that I paid extra because I got fewer emissions. I mean, mm -hmm. most people aren't looking at that as a big perk. Uh, but if they end up, but the government says, oh, you got a better deal because you're, you have fewer emissions. So, but there's all sorts of ways the government is, is claiming that, that things are getting better. I don't think they ever admit when things are getting worse, when they substitute lower quality ingredients, cheaper materials. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, I read another article today where they talk about shrinkflation, you know, yeah. where, you know, where, hey, they didn't raise the prices, but they just, you know, put uh, fewer uh, flakes in, uh, in, in the cereal box. Right. You know, this one article that I, that, I, that I read, not only did they take, I don't know, maybe 8% of the cereal out of the box, but they actually made the box bigger. Just so they're really full of people. It's okay, look, we're going to take cereal out of the box, but we're actually going to make the box larger than when it had more cereal. But, you know, That's there's a limit to how often, you know, how much they could do that, right? They can't sell this gigantic box of cereal that takes up your whole car and it's got one serving in it. You know, I mean, they can't start selling toilet paper by the sheet. You know, I mean, right now they keep, you know, they, 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 they take away 20 sheets, 30, you know, instead of raising the price. But you know, at some point, there's a limit to how small they can make stuff, you know, but I don't even know if the government is, the, are they looking at how much, how many cornflakes are actually in the box? Or are they just looking at the price? I'm not even sure if they're looking at the unit price. Uh, I know? want to ask you about the quality argument because you've uh, you've mentioned this before that, uh, and, and this is a, a it's a good argument that hey you know if we used uh, the data from the 70s or, or the same methods of collecting inflation data in the 70s, inflation oh. today would be way higher. But as as oh, much time higher. goes on, they keep changing what's in the basket, so it's kind of a messed up measure. Now I want to ask you this: Is it possible they're, that they're doing that really because no maybe 10 years ago? I needed to spend $1,500 to have the iPad that I wanted. Uh, but now I could get the iPad that I want for $500 and the $1,500 version just has, I don't know, three more cameras on it, but I don't need that version. So so is it fair for them to make those sort of deflationary adjustments or is that just being done to, to rig the, the game? No, I don't think it's fair. Before we continue, help us by smashing that YouTube like button and subscribe now to this channel.
This shows the algorithm that you value the information, and it helps us spread this message. Sharing is caring. Please like and subscribe now. Thank you. And now, let's continue. No, I don't think it's fair um, because, you know, stuff is always getting better in mm -hmm. technology terms. Uh, sure. I mean, stuff was getting better in the 1970s, but, you know, they, they didn't take that out of the CPI back then. But, mm -hmm. you know, the thing is, if I wanted to buy the computer from, you know, 10 years ago, I can't. It's not on the market anymore. It's like I you you have to take the better one. It's like you don't have a choice. That, oh, if I don't want all the extra memory, I don't want all the extra speed. I mean, at the end of the day, it, it, it may not be that important to me as far as the quality of my experience, what I'm using it for, but I have no choice. I got to buy it anyway. And now the government says, well, you know, even though you're paying more money, it's actually cheaper because it's so much faster. But, you know, I can only type so fast. I mean, it doesn't really matter uh, about, about some of these things. Uh, changing and, you know, it's, it, it, it doesn't affect me. But, you know, where the quality reductions really come in is the, the material quality, where they substitute cheaper vinyls or plastics for what used to use leather or something like that or ah. had more steel. And now it's they don't they've taken a lot of that away in the cars. You know, what really bothers me on quality is, you know, let's say you buy something and it's a piece of furniture, right? And you buy this piece of furniture and it was made in China. Whereas, you know, 10, 20 years ago, maybe the piece of furniture was made in America, but now it's made in China. And so, and it's a little bit cheaper or the same price. But when it was made in America, it was fully made and it just, I brought it home or it was delivered and, and that was the end of it. I just, you know, put it there. But it comes from China, this huge piece of furniture in a tiny little box with a whole bag of screws and instructions that you can barely understand. And so then it takes you two hours to put together what you just bought. Yet none of that is in the CPI. What is all your time yeah. worth? All the time that we spend putting stuff together, you know, there's no, I mean, you should have to add that to the cost mm. of the product yeah, or, you know, how much time, you know, I got to make a phone call now. I got to call up the credit card company. I got to call up an airline. I want to do yeah. something. I'm on hold for an hour, right? Yep. Because, you know, they're trying to save money. They don't have as many workers. They don't have people answering the phones. Uh, and so you're on hold for an hour. So instead of raising prices so you don't have to wait on hold, they just make you wait on hold for an hour. That's not in the CPI. But what's your time worth? Right. So there's a lot of things that are point. happening that are really raising price. But it doesn't yeah, show I was just, up. Uh, in the CPI. I went on my first post-COVID flight and uh, went to LAX. Uh, and the employees working in the airport were saying, we can't hire fast enough. There's so much demand. And I get to the gate. They only have one person working at the gate. The flight yeah. gets delayed two yeah. hours because they can't get the other plane out fast enough. The engine can't start itself. So we have to wait for, for some uh, box cart or whatever to come to start the plane. It's like I'm sitting here wasting hours of my time. I'm late for my commitment in the morning because it's a red eye. I don't get any sleep because I'm stressed. Like, I, p I probably paid 10% more for the plane ticket than I would have last yeah, go year. To, you know, go to the post there. office. Go but to, I just I mean, paid the, way more with, with, with my time, you know? I mean, I got go screwed. to the passport office. I was at the passport oh. office to get the passports for my kid. It's a nightmare. I mean, there's nobody there. There's nobody working there. The place is empty. Once you get inside, there's nobody there. There's, there's a huge oh. line around the block to get in. But once you get inside, there's no one working there. It's like a ghost town. <laughs> uh, but you know, everything now takes forever. How much, you know, how many COVID tests I take, you know, here with, when, when I'm here in Europe, they don't take my insurance. So it's 50 bucks a pop. I got to take them for the kids every week. Now I realize I got to take the COVID tests to come back in the country. When I left the country, I don't think they Puerto Rican insurance. The U S charges $200 for a COVID test. You know, I mean, where is that in the CPI? I mean, Noah was taking COVID tests a couple of times. Now, every time you want to do something, oh, where's your COVID test? Even though I got a vaccine, they still want the COVID test. How much are we spending on masks, right? I mean, masks were, I mean, big people were spending zero on masks a couple of years ago. Now, how much money are we wasted on masks? What to do in such a situation? Inform yourself and keep your financial education strong. We from the Compact Group offer our loyal subscribers a free educational portal with firsthand monetary, financial, and economic knowledge. Enter our invite-only Insider Club by clicking the link below.
you will get access to first-class information far earlier than the rest. We have prepared a special deal for all our members where you can access a giant pool of Robert Kiyosaki's financial wisdom for just one dollar. To find out more, simply click the link below and join our Insider Club absolutely free. But there is more you can and should do. Build up several streams of income. More and more people realize that they have to take their future in their own hands, but they don't know how and where to start. We from Compact offer our Insider Club members unique opportunities. Strengthen your financial muscle and get the edge. Click the link below. Become part of our free Insider Club. No financial obligations. But there's one important thing you have to know. You have to become active. So do it now. Become active and see you on the other side.